All right, Unitree just dropped their Kung Fu Kid 5 6.0 update for the G1 humanoid robot, and honestly, if you told me six months ago that a robot would be doing head-high front kicks and consecutive backflips in real time with zero video speed-ups, I would have laughed you out of the room. But here we are, and this isn't science fiction anymore. Unitree is rewriting what we thought was possible with a 35-kilogram machine that costs less than a used car. The martial arts moves are legitimately impressive. We're talking high kicks that reach head level, rapid punch combinations, spinning moves, one-legged balance poses, and low sweeping kicks, all executed in rapid succession. The G1 strings these together like a trained martial artist, not like a wobbly prototype that needs five seconds to recalibrate between moves. This is fluid, controlled, and frankly kind of intimidating to watch. The coordination leap from earlier versions is massive, just earlier this year, Unitree was showing off basic martial arts patterns and simple side flips. Now, the robot is doing complex kung fu sequences that would make a stunt coordinator nod in approval. And here's the crazy part. Unitree confirmed that no camera tricks were used, no speed-ups, no editing magic. What you see is real-time performance, which means the G1's joint controllers and balance algorithms have been turbocharged to handle these fast, dynamic actions without faking it. But the martial arts are only half the story. V6.0 also showcases acrobatics that honestly seem impossible for a humanoid robot. We're talking consecutive somersaults, aerial twist jumps, and backflips that land cleanly. The G1 can string together multiple flips and cartwheels, using its arms for mid-air stabilization, and then nail the landing like it's been training at a gymnastics academy for years. In reality, it's been training for about 18 months through reinforcement learning and imitation training, but the results are mind-blowing. The whole body control is so refined that the robot actively extends its arms outward during high kicks to counterbalance, repositions its hands during flips, and minimizes wobble even during one-legged stances. This isn't just brute force engineering. This is elegant problem solving that makes physics look easy. Quick question. Do you think teaching robots martial arts is genius or just asking for trouble? Drop a comment. Are you impressed or a little freaked out? Now let's talk about the backbone of all this, anti-gravity mode. Unitree shocked everyone by introducing this stability upgrade and it's built right into V6.0. So what is anti-gravity mode? No, they didn't install a gravity switch. It's a software upgrade that makes the robot fight physics better. Think of it like a reflex pack for humans. The system reads an impact, shifts weight in milliseconds, repositions the feet, and snaps the torso back where it belongs. It's the difference between slipping on a wet floor and doing a perfect moonwalk out of danger. Would you trust a robot that can fight physics? Comment yes if you'd own one, or no if that's just scary. Under the hood, it likely combines whole body control, springy joint behavior, and a reactive step planner that says, Foot here, now. Torso there, now. Add learn skills like rolling, flipping, and that famous kip-up move, and you get a robot that seems to cheat gravity without actually breaking any rules. But here's the crazy part, D. Unitree didn't change the hardware to get this. It's the same platform, just smarter. Over the air, smarter. Why do these tests matter? And why is V6.0 not just flashy show-off content? Unitree's clips weren't random chaos. They were controlled stress testing. In the anti-gravity mode demo from late September, engineers forcefully kicked the G1, hitting it from different sides at different moments, including mid-step. They used single attackers and small groups. They tested sticks and body checks. The goal was to mess with the center of mass and see if the robot's reflexes could keep up. And the time to standing? often under half a second and usually within a second even after full knockdowns. That's the headline. But here's the crazy part. When G1 does fall, it doesn't just stand up. It chooses a recovery path. Roll, arch, kip up, like a trained athlete who knows 10 ways to get off the mat. That's not drama. That's engineering discipline showing up as choreography. Public reaction to V6.0 has been split and passionate. Some people are in awe of the technical achievement, pointing out that this level of agility was science fiction just a few years ago. Others are less impressed by the stunts and more focused on utility. 
One commenter said, I just wanted to do my laundry and clean my house. I don't want a killing machine at my home. Another argued, these demos mean nothing. You should show video where the robot is actually doing some useful work without human intervention. Let's settle this in the comments. Should humanoid robots be trained for agility in combat? Or focus only on useful tasks like cleaning and caregiving? Comment agility or utility. And honestly, that's a fair critique. The G1 right now is a research and industrial platform, not a consumer robot butler. Out of the box, without custom programming, it isn't folding your clothes or fetching your coffee. It walks via remote control, waves, shakes hands, and with the right code, it learns new moves. Think of it like buying a high-end PC in the 1970s. The hardware screams future, but the magic is whatever software you teach it to run. But here's the crazy part. Uh, that's exactly why this matters. A software update just gave it a survival skill you can't fake. You can build on that. Where does this go from here? Expect more demos with objects, not just impacts. Expect mixed sequences. Walk, turn, grab, get shoved, re-grip, keep going. Expect competitions and sports-like challenges because they stress the control stack in fun ways. And yes, expect people to keep trolling with do my dishes robo. That's fine. Trolling keeps the bar high. The right answer is to show real tasks in messy spaces. Put the robot on a slick ramp with a box in one hand. Bump it on purpose. Make it finish the carry. That's the clip we need next. But here's the crazy part, ah. Uh. The day the internet stops joking about Skynet is the day robots become boringly reliable. And boring reliability is exactly what we need before they step into real jobs. Unitree's Kung Fu Kid 5 6.0 is a milestone moment. 18 months of iterative training, over-the-air updates, and relentless refinement have produced a humanoid robot that can kick, flip, balance, and recover like nothing we've seen at this price point. The anti-gravity mode laid the foundation by proving the G1 could take a hit and bounce back in under a second. V6.0 builds on that with martial arts sequences and acrobatics that push the limits of what 35 kilograms of metal and software can do. Is it ready to fold your laundry? Not yet but it's ready to survive the chaos of the real world. And that's step one. The next chapter is simple. Take those reflexes and aim them at work that matters. Because this is just the beginning, and the pace of progress isn't slowing down. What if I told you the next generation of soldiers might not breathe, blink, or beg for mercy, and they're already being trained for the front lines? China is building a digital army designed to cross mountains, climb rooftops, and slip under doors while humans watch from a safe distance. Tonight, we're pulling back the curtain on the machines that make that possible. A mechanical yak that hauls 160 kilograms through snow, a gun dog that can be dropped on a rooftop, a mini tank that disarms bombs, and a rolling eye that can spy where no human can fit. And because this isn't a sci-fi trailer, I'll show you real specs, real roles, and how all these pieces could lock into one unstoppable war machine. Ready? Let's go.